So nuclear chemistry. All right. So what is nuclear chemistry? Well, it involves nuclear reactions. So it's the study of uh, nuclear reactions. And their uses. It turns out nuclear uh, nuclear reactions have a lot of very very good uses that benefit society. Of course, there's issues, but um, they do have their good uses. All right. So two terms that we'll start using right off the bat um, quite a lot is radioactive and radiation. Okay, so what is uh, radioactive? So when something is called radioactive, what that means is that it <coughs> is an unstable isotope. So we know that something that is unstable will eventually do something to become stable, right? Mm -hmm. And what they do is they do they undergo nuclear reactions to become stable. Uh, to become stable, an unstable uh, isotope that will undergo a nuclear reaction. At some point in time. To become stable. To become stable, yeah. I even write that. To become stable. I like that. How long that takes is really dependent, it varies widely, and it's dependent on the actual isotope you're talking about. Some of them are really unstable and will undergo a nuclear reaction within milliseconds. Okay? Some of them are really stable, and we're going to use the term half-lifes uh, uh, eventually, but we talked about that in kinetics. Uh, some radioactive isotopes are pretty stable, and they have half-lifes on the order of millions and billions of years. Okay? So it all depends. Can't switch. EIR, there we go. I can't switch colors. All right, so. Uh, radioactive isotopes are going to go a nuclear reaction at some point in time, depending on how stable or unstable they are. Um, when they undergo that uh, nuclear reaction, they will emit radiation. So radiation is energy. Is it it's one of the products, yep. Energy or particles. Emitted. Uh, from a nuclear reaction. So, two symbols up here, two pictures, okay? So this is the international symbol for radioactivity. It was also required by law to be on every hard rock album in the 80s. Like you had to have that symbol on your album cover. Fact. Okay. This, what's that a picture of? It's a power plant from where? Simpsons. Simpsons, yes. It's the nuclear power plant from the Simpsons. That's where Homer worked. Homer Simpson worked at a nuclear power plant. He still works there. It's still a show. I can't believe it. it's like 40. It's been on for like 35 years or something like that. But anyways, uh, he was the. Uh, does anybody know what Homer did at the nuclear power plant? What his job was? He slept a lot. But what was his official job? He was the safety officer. He was in charge of safety. 
hilarity ensues. So the reason, another reason why I uh, put this up here. So where did where do the Simpsons take place? Does anybody know what city? Springfield. Springfield. Okay, so Springfield. And does any? So I think it was both their baseball and football teams. But does anybody know the uh, mascot for their baseball team? The Springfield. Okay, but they were the Springfield Isotopes. They were the Springfield Isotopes. Yeah, so they had some chemistry in there. All right, so that is what we need to eventually start talking about, isotopes. Remembering what isotopes are and how to talk about them.